Knives are one of the most common things we use in the kitchen for any cook. Hi, my name is Hazel and I'm going to talk about knife safety, how to clean, how to identify knife cuts, and how to cut ingredients. Having a firm, steady grip on your knife is very important. You should always be mindful when cutting and take careful note of where your fingers are. When you hold a knife, your entire hand should be around the handle, right behind the blade so the fingers won't stick out or get cut. Here is an example of how not to hold your knife. You should avoid placing one finger on top of the blade. This makes your knife easier to shift in your hand and you'll probably get hurt. First, secure your cutting board. Dampen a paper or a cloth towel and lay it under the cutting board if your cutting board moves around quite a bit as you work on it. Second, flat bottoms make for easier cutting. When dealing with round objects like potatoes, onions, or melons, it's a good idea to cut them in half and lay them cut side down for safer cutting in most cases. Third, a sharp knife is a safe knife. A sharp knife makes it easy to control how it should glide through food easily and quickly using very little force. You won't get injured if you use it with more pressure. Chopping is essentially breaking food down into larger chunks. Slicing is to cut something whole into slices. When doing this, try to make sure that the cuts are all same thickness so they cook evenly. Slicing is one of the most common cuts and can be done in a variety of sizes. When cutting or dicing, make sure the hand-holding item that you are cutting is shaped like a claw. Curl your fingers in and make sure your thumb is behind your fingers. The curled knuckles of your fingers will act as a guard for the blade saving your hands from cuts. Mincing is a very fine cut, much smaller than the smallest dice, before you mince, dice, or slice the ingredient. When mincing, keep your dominant hand on a knife handle and place your outer hand flat on the top of the blade. Rock the knife back and forth using the hand on the top of the blade to keep the pressure on the cutting board. Knives put in a dishwasher may knock into other cutlery or items while washing and damage the blade. Hand wash and dry your knives right away after use.